just wanted to put this out here. Um, uh, this is my latest cell. Uh, as you can see, some ideas from um, zero fossil fuel using uh, plexiglass to cover the whole cell with uh, goop. It did a nice job at helping keep the plates separated when I removed the zip ties from the sides. I left zip ties in the middle, however, and I used a bolt, uh, some plastic uh, bolts to keep the plates from sliding down. Uh, that way I could keep as much of this open as possible to allow um, current to flow through. Um, I tried to place those little um, connections there to help make sure that um, um, that resistance would be less of an issue and hopefully heat would be less of an issue. But in the top cap, I'm still having the same problem. And this is on the negative side. Uh, I got a clue as to me having the same problem again by looking at the top cap and seeing that the bolt started sinking down a little bit. I'm going to try putting a um, fender washer in there next time to help uh, keep that up a little bit higher. Um, nothing really on the positive side from there and there. It's looking really good. Um, as you can see, it's still well spaced away from the top of the top cap, but it's just on the negative side. Um, so, by looking at my design, I don't know if you might be able to uh, give me a little bit of advice there. Um, but anyhow, the cell seems to be holding up fairly well. Uh, I did accidentally crack the top of this Lexan, and so I think um, as some of the goop withdrew, uh, some of the electrolyte uh, followed into it. So as you can see, when I squeeze that a little bit, you can see some of the electrolyte moving around a bit in there. Um, but um, I'm kind of pleased with the design. The uh, efficiency, um, it's uh, running about 3.9, obviously not as where, where I'd like it to be, and having a heat problem. And this, believe it or not, I've been only running this at 10 amps, uh, controlling with my pulse width modulator. It's in sodium hydroxide solution of um, about uh, half a teaspoon per liter of um, water which I get from my humidifier. Um, let me know if that might actually be an issue compared to distilled water. Uh, if I need to use real distilled water, then I'll get real distilled water and consider using that instead. I've been told by several people that um, um, humidifier water is really distilled water, uh, but uh, I'm kind of thinking that there may be actually be a difference and I don't know exactly what the difference is. Um, so, the, this cell, the efficiency, three point, about 3.9 uh, MW at um, 10 amps. Um, the efficiency goes down, however, when I bump it up to 15 amps, um, with the, again, with the pulse width modulator. Uh, efficiency goes down to about 3.7, uh, if I, I remember correctly. Um, hydrogen production did go up from 550 to 600, roughly. Uh, with increasing um, amperage, but um, still very far from where I need to be. Um, but I like the design. I, I like the idea of the brick. I have a funny feeling that what I'm going to do with this is just make a, a brick design, hopefully keep it this small, and um, I have a funny feeling that it'll be doing a lot better job of getting rid of the extra heat. Uh, so um, I like MagDrive's idea about the bricks. I think they, they probably stay a lot cooler and if I, I can maybe put my radiator in there between this and uh, my reservoir that may be uh, the thing to do to keep heat down. But still got to figure out how to do that. Uh, but uh, any feedback? Much appreciated. Thanks.